is above the ground. Each sold separately with a figure as Battletrack Protector sets his defense. Battletrack locked! High above, the evil Jackal Raider takes aim. Sky Commander, head for cover! Launch Jackal! Miss me, Raider! Rapid deployment! Counterattack! Charge! Sky Commanders, protectors of the high frontier. Got him! Yeah! Battletrack Protector comes with everything seen here. Other vehicles sold separately. New from Kenner. No way, B. I'm so into my workout. With the taste of nuts and honey. Nuts and honey. We're a honey on the nose. We're honey nut Cheerios. Honey nut Cheerios. Mmm. Honey nut Cheerios. We're a honey on the nose. We're honey nut Cheerios. Mmm. Like wow. Honey nut Cheerios. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Super. It's a honey on Whoa. the nose. It's honey nut Cheerios. <laughs> And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Open your eyes. We've, we've landed. Elena! I've been looking forward to your visit. Me too, Tila. I'm glad my dad had to deliver the transmutator. Uh, Tila! Elena! Guess what? Charvan the sorcerer has escaped the prison mine. He could be on his way here right now. Why here? King Randor and He-Man imprisoned him a long time ago. He swore revenge. Oh, do you think we're safe? Not to worry. He's probably in another galaxy by now. Come on, Elena. <laughs> Back on Eternia at last. Now to find Randor and He-Man and take my revenge. Coming. I don't want to be seen just yet. And this will frighten them away. I think this is the way. Hello. <coughs> the geyser field. I'll leave 
before the gas overcomes us! Probably enjoying themselves. If it'll make you feel better, I'll call Tila on the comm link. Tila? Tila, can you hear me? Adam, help! We're trapped in the geyser field. Tila may be hurt. Hold on, Elena. Try to stay calm. I'll send for help. By the power of Grey Skull! <laughs> sending me away. It just isn't fair. My father can make anything. Why can't he make me big and strong? <laughs> oh, this little one needs help. I will help her. <laughs> to help me. But first, a disguise. What? Wrong, dearie. Oh, who are you? Oh, just an old woman, dearie. What's wrong, child? Because I'm so weak and timid, my friend got hurt. Oh, I wish I could be stronger. Oh, is that all that's bothering you? I can fix that, dearie. You... you can? I don't know what it is. It will make you feel anything you want to feel. Strong, tall, anything. Feel better? How can I thank you? Oh, I'll think of something. <gasps> Elena! Take this. Oh, I think you can call me. Just say, um, oh? Emma. Elena? Where are you? I'm here, Tila. How are you? Oh, I'm all recovered. But what are you doing up there? Here, let me help you down. You'll fall. No, I won't. And what's more, I'm not afraid. I never knew you could do that. <laughs> I didn't either. Let's go back. I'll raise ya. This is the transmutator. It can change things from solid to liquid or gas. Watch the tree. The tree has been changed from wood to gold, and we can change it back. I must have that machine. Now I 
have a good idea how to get it. Are you all right, Alina? What? Oh, yes. Fine. Why don't you get some fresh air? Adam and I will join you in a while. I... I will. She was fine just a short while ago, but now she looks almost ill. I feel so sick. So tired and weak. <gasps> Maybe that kind old woman can help. What were those words again? Am? Ot? Emok. Yes, dearie. You called? Oh. Where did you come from? <laughs> what does that matter? I'm here. What's wrong? Oh. I feel awful. I thought maybe some more potion? <laughs> of course, dearie. <laughs> I think we better find Alina. I'm worried about her. Just what I was thinking. Let's go. Alina! Hi, Adam. Tila. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just terrific. In fact, I feel so good, I think I'll do something I've always wanted to do. I think I'll take my father's air car for a ride. Want to come? Have you flown it before? Are you sure you know how? Of course. I can do anything, Adam. Want to come? No, oh, sure, Alina. <laughs> Elena, slow down! Oh, Adam, what is it? I'm stopping. Whee! Whoa! Elena, try to land! I can't. I, I, I don't know what to do. How did I ever get myself in a fix like this? But more importantly, how do I get out? before? No, I never have. That was very dangerous, Alina, and not very smart. Oh, Adam! Adam is safe. Come on, you could use some rest. I feel so terrible. There's only one thing that will make me feel better. M. Ot. Emok. Yes, dearie. <laughs> Please? I feel awful. Can I have some more potion? <laughs> Not this time, sweetie. It's time you paid me back. How? I want the transmutator. I can't pass the voice print, but you can. Get the transmutator for me. I won't do that. If you want some of that nice potion you wear. She's gone. Oh, how did I ever get myself into this? I wish I'd never drank that potion. <laughs> Elena, please tell me what's wrong. I, I can't, Adam. Well, I can't help if you won't let me. I have to have more potion. But I can't steal Father's transmutator. But if I bring her the transmutator, once I drink the potion, I'll be strong enough to take it back. Oh, how did I get myself into this trouble? Please, open the door. I'm Elena. Voice print matches. You may enter. There's no one here. Oh, thank goodness. It's too heavy. I saw you come in. Need some help? Yes, I, I... I need to take this to the, uh, terrace. Then I'd like to be alone, Marco. 
Your wish is my command. Now you can push it onto the terrace. The spell will wear off when you set it down. Bye. Am, ought, am. <laughs> well done, dearie. Please, the, the potion. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Please, I need your help. But I no longer need yours. I think Jarvan was too smart for you. <laughs> Jarvan, he tricked me. I've got to warn the others. Oh, it's gone! It, it, it's gone! It's vanished! Uh, what's gone, Zikran? Uh, the, the transmutator! <laughs> Someone stole the transmutator! Man at arms! Tila! Come quick! Something's happened to Elena! She's coming too now. Oh, Father! I've done something awful! There, there now! What is it? I gave the transmutator to Jarvan, the sorcerer. By the power of Grayskull! And he man's attention, I'll have my revenge. You'll have to aim better than that, Jarvan. All right, try this. Your marksmanship leaves me cold, Jarvan. A little heat should slow you down. <laughs> Run through that, E-Man! Why go through it when I can go over it? Good move, E-Man, but not good enough. The flash! I can't see! You'll be able to see in a moment, He-Man. <laughs> and you'll see that you've lost. Yes, this transmutator is a wonderful thing. It can turn the air around you to rock or shrink the palace down to a more manageable size. I, I can't deactivate the transmutator. The, the, the palace is shrinking. I've got to break free. Demon. Demon. Oh, I think it's time to turn on my force field. I can't take the time to break through the force field. I've got to save the palace. Maybe if I can hold the center of the palace, I can stop the whole thing from shrinking. I've come through tight spots before. I could use a bit more elbow room. It's getting awfully crowded here. E-Man is holding this back. But even He-Man won't be able to fight the machine's full power. Is everyone all right? What happened? He-Man's resistance made the transmutator overload and it blew up. Might over matter, right? <laughs> it's not over yet. <laughs> Look! Jarvan's stunned, but he'll be back. If only there were a way to bring him here while he's still weak. Jarvan gave me this ring to summon him with. Why would he do that, Alina? I feel weak and, and timid. 
Javan gave me a potion and said that it would make me strong and and brave. And did it? It made me feel good at first, but it wore off, and I needed more and more. He made you dependent on some kind of drug. You're lucky you didn't continue. I know that now. If we can rig up an amplifier, maybe we can use this ring to summon him. And amplify its summoning power to keep him here. It's ready now, Elena. Now, Elena. M. Ot. Emok. But you can't make me stay! I can if that's all you've got, Jarvan. Playing with fire, eh, Jarvan? Give up, Jarvan! You can't win! Maybe not, but I never lose! <laughs> Trip, Jarvan? You haven't heard the last of me, He-Man! Oh, you mean you'll write to me from the prison mine. Thanks for helping me to catch Jarvan, Elena. That was very brave. What I did earlier was very stupid. I still don't understand why you took the potion, Elena. I wanted to be like you, Tila. I think you two will agree that the only way to feel good is to first feel good about yourself. In today's story, Elena tried taking a magic potion which she thought would help her. Well, she found out there aren't any magic potions. And you know what? There aren't any magic drugs either. Anytime you take one from anybody but your parents or your doctor, you're taking a very big chance. You're gambling with your health, maybe even your life. Drugs don't make your problems go away. They just create more. Space of battle rages between the evil Shadow Force and Sarkar. Look, the Shadow Star, Emperor Dark. He's master teleportation and dematerialization. Look out, Slim. Hey, that's top secret. Now the secrets of Mega Fucking Power deploy on Mars. That's my polarizing death. Too late, Kovar, but he'll be back. Sarkar, the fight for freedom rages. Supernaturals! Change to fight with ghostly might! Supernaturals! Behold the supernaturals! Ghostly warriors that change to fight when they're hit with light! Because each has an amazing hologram! An eerie hologram you control with a turn of your hand! Turn them into the light and watch them change into even more powerful creatures! Change to fight with ghostly might! Supernaturals! Each sold separately, new from Tonka! Attack. You can stack, attack, 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 att
Warriors. Wheel Warriors vehicles each sold separately. Some parts not for use with some toys. New from Mattel. Now, when you're done writing home, we're going to go for... Got a second? Right back. No funny stuff. Zap Why just sing them with water when you can zap them with color? New motorized zapping. Yeah, one more thing. Since you can't disappear, the color does. Zap it from Enterjack. Color refills sold separately. Yo, Joe! He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe's there! G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. as a mummy remains at large, his identity as mysterious as his motive. Why would a thief pass up valuable jewels to steal an artifact of worth only to scholars? <laughs> Maybe he was a scholar. What the? I have provided darkness for your sake, not mine. To know my identity is to ensure your doom. What do you want? Quiet! Ah, disgusting. Ah, it was recently reported that you discovered a specimen of the rare Jackal's Bane root under the ice. We'll take you to it. Just lay off with the pistol. Remember, keep your eyes from my face. If I even suspect you have seen me. Flint, sounds like we got a covert SOS from Antarctica base. Deploy snow job and frostbite. The Jackal's Bane specimen was found down here, but the area has frozen over since then. Now! 
job to Frostbite! He lost me! Not me! I know exactly where he is! Wherever he was, he's on ice now! A trouble bubble? Affirmative! It's Cobra again! just got away in a submarine! Years of research ruined! Well, at least he missed the coffee pot. Do you have any idea how embarrassing this is? We're polar troops! We had a dragonfly and a snowcat, and one lone cobra creep got away from us. Well, not clean away. While he was using our lab as a shooting range, he hit this canister of marking dye. What's it for? It's a mildly radioactive substance we use for tracking whale and penguin migration. Which one of Cobra's snakes could it have been? That's easy. Firefly. None of the others would have taken such great pains to conceal his identity. Aren't we clever? Then tell me this. Why did Cobra want the Jackal's Bane? That's not so easy. Flint, I've got a fix on the sub. It's headed for Madagascar. But I think I know where to find out. Madagascar. I'd bet my bottom dollar that they're hiding in Pirate's Cove. It's been a smuggler's hideout for centuries. How do you know so much about hideouts? <laughs> Shipwrecks are crook! <laughs> Two parts jackal's bane with uh, crushed swamp moss. Greetings, Firefly. Do not use my name. Do you have the jackal's bane? Right here. I expect payment in my Swiss account immediately. What is that? What's that noise? The Geiger counter, Commander. He's brought in something radioactive. That's impossible! It's tracking paint. You have been followed! Clear the lab immediately! Prepare for attack! You're almost home free! They're gonna blow this place! Come on! The stolen tablet. So the British Museum theft is connected to the Jackal's Bane. Let's get out of here. Let me show you the quickest exit! <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. One whiff, and a man would fall in love with the woman who wore it. You're kidding. I'd like to have some of the stuff. You don't need it. Ah. <laughs> Turn off the charm, Flynn. You're liable to attract a whale. <laughs> Very funny. The question is, who does Cobra want to attract to whom? I'll bet you anything the Baroness is involved in this. We lost that tablet due to Firefly's incompetence. Who cares about the tablet? 
we have Old the Cobra, and with it, no man alive will be able to resist the Baroness. Short Fuse, I'm patching Flynn in to you. He has some questions. Yeah, put him through. Short Fuse, I need to pick your brain. Yeah, what do you want to blow up? Who's the wealthiest bachelor in the world? Oh, I know that. The shipping tycoon, Socrates Ertes. Hey, he's even looking for a wife. Having a party on his yacht this weekend. Flint? Hello? Well, now we can guess what they're up to. Sure, Ertes falls in love with the Baroness, and Cobra gets control of the largest shipping fleet in the world. So good to meet you, Duchess. And you, Mr. Ertes. Your yacht is simply divine. Last time I come to a party uninvited. Come on, in there. After you, my dear. Why, thank you, Flint. My pleasure, Lady J. Deep Six, we are on the yacht. Wait below, just in case. You got it, Flint. Better down here than up there. Good evening, Mr. Ertes. Lovely to meet you. Really lovely. Shall we dance? Uh, how can I refuse? is doing quite well. Ertis looks enraptured. How would you know? Ooh, Destro, we are touchy tonight. And with good reason. Two of the Joes have infiltrated the ship. What? <laughs> Cobra undercover. Two Joe agents on the promenade deck walkway. Dispose of them. Now that we're here, what are we going to do? Simple. Get the perfume from the Baroness. And how are we going to do that? That's more complicated. Cobra! Have a nice trip! Is my hair okay? Even Cobra can't ruin your looks. Morons! I have morons on my payroll! I feel as if a void has been filled in my life. Baroness, will you... Pardon me, mind if I cut in? <gasps> I guess not. Darling, it's been so long. This mission is taking a most disastrous turn. You underestimate the Baroness. Or perhaps you fear Flint's charms. Don't be ridiculous. However, I do wish to monitor this mission firsthand. You'll stay here. You will only hinder our agent. Do not try to stop me. Enjoy the dance, Baroness, because afterwards you will be exposed for what you are. No, Flint. You have made a mistake, for even you are not immune Shh. to all the Cobra. Don't I look different to you now? You wouldn't want me to fail at my mission, would you? I want whatever will make you happiest. Hello, Mr. Ertes. I've looked forward to meeting you. Do something for me, Flint. Anything, darling. Dispose of that pesty woman who arrived with you. Of course. Hello, Earth to Mr. Ertes. Come in, Socrates. If you think you can take what is mine, you are dangerously mistaken. Buzz off, Tin Face. This has 
been your last mission, Joe. <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Your mission and your life end here and now, fool! Ah. Oh. I believe two men are fighting, sir. Isn't it part of the entertainment? Certainly not. Have them ejected. Before left a party in such a disgraceful manner. Neither have I. I feel kind of foolish. About the Baroness, she's yours if you want her. I think not. That woman is nothing but trouble. We will take up this matter later, Destro, darling. Oh! Such excitement. I must lie down for a while. Uh, come to my cabin. We can be alone. Let me hold your purse. Give that back! Okay, I just wanted to help out. Socrates, why don't we dance while the Baroness rests? No, I will escort her. On second thought, perhaps it would be best to let her rest quietly. Excuse me. It's something in the perfume, I'm sure of it. Let's get it. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Incompetence! My plan is going up in smoke! Baroness, scrub your mission. Bring the perfume to me. Choose me, Mr. Eddy. I can't believe I love you madly. Wait, Socrates, your poison and I were meant for each other. Commander, the perfume has fallen overboard. Send divers. Lady J to Deep Six. The perfume's headed your way. Intercept it. Will do. There it is.
suffer for this! Oh, there you are! We've been looking for you! Save your whining for the judge, Baroness! I'm a duchess, not a baroness! If you're not, then where? There! <laughs> All fair in love and war! It could have been wonderful, Flint! You're sure that perfume wore off? I think I shall remain a bachelor. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Genetic experiment fails. A civilization dies. The result, the sectors. A strange combination of man and insect. Dargon, leader of the forces of good and dragonflyer. Battle evil Spydrax and Spiderflyer. You control every move of Dargon and Spydrax and their insectoids. This is Heroic Pinsor, another defender of good and his attack crawler. Help him prevent the evil skulk and his treacherous insectoid from discovering the secrets of the ancients. Secrets buried long ago when the last survivors hid them deep within the planet. Now you control the sector's every move. And the ultimate battle for survival is in your hands. Collect the fierce armies of Dargon and Spydrax with their attack insectoids and fierce legions of warriors. Sectors by Comico. Micro Machine Man presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket play sets. There's a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect pocket portables to take any place. And there are many miniature play sets to play with, and each one comes with its own special edition Micro Machine vehicle and fun, fantastic features that miraculously move. Raise the boat lift at the airport marina, man the gun turret at the army base, clean your car at the car wash, raise the toll bridge. And these play sets fit together to form a Micro Machine world. Micro Machine pocket play sets, so tremendously tiny, so perfectly precise, so dazzlingly detailed, you'll want to pocket them all. Micro Machines are Micro Machine pocket play sets sold separately from Galoob. The smaller they are, the better they are. Detention panels are just what we need to keep us safe. Watch how the sensors react to metal. Not bad, huh? Excellent, Wheeljack. The Decepticons won't find it easy to slip by that. Optimus Prime, come quickly. It's Dr. Fujiyama, the famous scientist. Yes, Dr. Fujiyama. Sorry to intrude, Mr. Optimus Prime, but I am in need of the services of you and your Autobots. For what reason, Doctor? To guard my latest invention when I present it to the world. Exactly what is it that you've come up with? Could the Decepticons eavesdrop on us? Oh, it's not too likely. Nonetheless, I fear to speak. 
My invention is a special robot. What? At the risk of seeming boastful, it is the greatest robot ever created by man. Which means it is well, <laughs> primitive by Autobot standards. My curiosity is aroused. We will come, Doctor. Oh, splendid, splendid. All the top scientists of the world will be on hand for the unveiling. <laughs> Imagine Autobots playing nursemaid to an Earth robot. It's probably just a glorified wind-up toy. Nevertheless, we'll go if only to make sure the Decepticons don't get their hands on it. Let's roll. Dr. Fujiyama's doohickey's under that drape. If it walks, it probably needs a long extension cord. <laughs> I wonder if batteries are included. <laughs> When they turn it on, it'll probably blow the lights. We're here to guard the robot, not to make jokes at its expense. Gentlemen, what you are about to see is state-of-the-art robotics. This gentleman is the first female ninja robot. I have named her Nightbird. Magnificent. Tremendous. Unbelievable. Very impressive. Bravo. What is a ninja? An ancient Japanese warrior capable of amazing feats of skill and daring. Yeah, I read about them. Ninjas were deadly assassins. Uh, why build a robot ninja, Doctor? Isn't that rather dangerous? Nightbird has been constructed to demonstrate to the world the limitless capabilities of technology. She will expand the horizons of robotic research to assist mankind and not to harm him. I assure you, gentlemen, she is not meant for battle or assassinations, and I have limited her powers accordingly. Now, gentlemen, if I may... Oh, no! It's that dynamental delinquent rumble. And his punk pal frenzy. Let's send him directly to Scrap Iron City. Wait, we can't risk hurting the humans. Your theory seems shaky to me, Doc. Look out! They're destroying the building! Run for it! The humans have evacuated. Autobots, attack! I bring you greetings, Optimus Prime. Lethal greetings! Blue streak! <laughs> Help! The girders have me pinned! Optimus, look out! Prepare for oblivion, Prime! Not yet, Megatron. Not just yet! Prime! Over your head! And star scream! We are not staying long, Auto Boobs. We just came to pick up a friend. <laughs> Soundwave, activate the passageway. As you command, Megatron. This new base is only temporary, but it will do nicely for the game I intend to play with those accursed Autobots. This is child's play compared to Decepticon transform circuits. Spare me your critique. Can you do it? With a little rewiring, some additional microchips, and a triple power booster, perhaps. Report progress and optimum.
Haptic interface, Soundwave! Almost completed. Good! I love warping minds for you, Megatron! <laughs> love it! She looks like some Earthling play puppet! Yes, but this puppet has a punch! <laughs> she is not meant to be your sparring partner, Starscream! Her adversaries will be Autobots. Is she fully programmed, Soundwave? Affirmative. And what are her orders? To steal the world energy chip from the Autobots, and then exterminate them. I'm sorry that we failed you in the university, Dr. Fujiyama. It could not have been foreseen, Mr. Prime. Nevertheless, I vow that we will return the robot ninja to you as quickly as possible. I only beg that she will be returned unharmed. The technical components are irreplaceable and are needed for research. Don't worry, Dr. Fujiyama. We'll bring the little lady back in perfect condition. I hope. Oh, thank you, thank you. I trust that you will. The damage report is not too good, Prime. Then, let's get our wounded back to the base. Autobots, transform! Come on, Braun. I'll give you a lift. I may not be able to transform, but I can still walk. Oh. Pal, remember, Ratchet's the dark. And doctor's orders are to stay off your feet. Autobots, roll out! I don't understand it, Prowl. Why would the Decepticons steal the Ninja Robot? They already have a formidable fighting force. I don't understand anything the Decepticons do. Yeah, it's over my head, too. But if we're gonna find her for Dr. Fujiyama, we have to get a fix on what the Decepticons have done with her. Well, we can't expect her to come to us. We'll have to find her. Transforming relays almost a okay. What the? This could mean only one thing an intruder. Hey, why you're. Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Don't harm her! And definitely don't shake her! Look out! I think we've got her now. What's she doing? She's making me dizzy. How'd she do that? I wish I knew, Blue Streak. 
I'd say we're lucky Dr. Fujiyama's Nightbird didn't do any permanent damage. Yeah, Pram. That little she bot sure no demo model when it comes to action. Well, we'll find her and bring her in before she really causes trouble. Autobots, transform! I'll have the rest of the Autobots and Teletran 1 operating in no time. Good luck. There she is! On the bluff! A simple stun ray should take care of her. Now we can take her back to Dr. Fujiyama where she belongs. She was playing Roboto Possum. Look out! Ah! That's it. I'm gonna cool her collators once and for all. No, we promised not to harm her. Nightbird, we've come to help. Don't force us to fight you. No, don't damage her. Grab her! We've got to stop her! No sign of her, Prime. Perhaps she has the same power of invisibility that I have. Perhaps. But with all the weapons she has, why would she steal your laser rifle? It's said the ninja always takes a part of an enemy with her. Thank goodness it was only my weapon. And she left her sword behind. But why is she attacking us in the first place? I suspect Megatron could answer that question. So, pure Optimus Prime has lost his laser rifle to Little Nightbird. He will lose much more before we're finished. We should have looked into Dr. Fujiyama's toy chest sooner. His ninja robot is magnificent. Ah, she'll burn out fast after the way Bombshell overtalked her circuits. Who asked you, Nitro Nose? Nightbird won't burn out until she returns with the computer chip we need. It's all been programmed. If she returns, you mean? She's not so hot. She's hot enough to replace you whenever I choose. It's much worse than I thought, Ironhide. They've stolen the chip which itemizes the world's energy supplies. It's got to be Megatron. More likely, that ninja she bought. The only thing I can do now is get Teletran 1 temporarily operational. We've got to notify Prime immediately. We can't let the ninja deliver that world energy chip to the Decepticons. Optimus Prime, come in. Yes, Ratchet. Teletran's info chip on world energy sources was stolen. So that's the reason for Nightbird's visit. Whoever has that chip can tap into all the power supplies on Earth. Finding her now is more important than ever. Hound, activate your infrared. Autobots, transform! Follow Hound! Why aren't we getting any signals? Wait! I have something. The signal's coming from the north. She's very close now. Bingo. Autobots, transform. We've got the ninja trapped. I want to capture her unharmed. It's your sword. Come and get it. Not one of my better ideas. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Follow me!
Mr. Nice Guy. The Sheepbots bought it. She'll pick us all off unless... I swore not to damage you, Nightbird, but you're leaving me no option. Drive your rifle! I truly regret this. At least we now know you're not invulnerable. We've got to find a way to stop her! I'm open to suggestions, and you don't need to raise your hands before you speak. Clip jumper, try your glass gas! She jammed it! You're definitely on my replacement list, Starscream. <laughs> She's everything I've always wanted. Replace me? Never! Skywarp, Thundercracker, grab him! Soundwave, bombshell, activate the cage. You can't keep me in here, Megatron! Ah! I don't see why not. That little cage was something I rigged up for the Autobots, but I'd like you to have it. Think of it as a, a farewell gift. Now, what did I miss? Impressive. I didn't know the Autobots could create an Electromesh prison so powerful. No! They finally got her! We must rescue her and retrieve the world energy chip at once. It will give us total control of this planet's energy supplies. We must not fail. Decepticons, prepare for battle. <laughs> Well done, Autobots. Nightbird is contained and unharmed. It's the energy chip she swiped from Teletran. Keep your hands off my property, Autoclod! Megatron, I knew it. Take her, Autobots! <laughs> Won't be needing this! Ah! You're starting to bug me, Bombshell! Got it! Watch how my anti-matter blaster eats up energy! Megatron! You fiend! Megatron's schemes have backfired once again. Oh, Mr. Optimus Prime, I'm so glad you have returned Nightbird and not a scratch on her chassis. Well, I'm glad she's back in your possession, Doctor. Deprogrammed and neutralized. 
and safely locked up forever. The Transformers will return after these messages. Landshark vehicle, Skeletor, Mechanic, and He-Man figures each sold separately. Help! Help! Landshark! Landshark! Help! He-Man! Landshark! Landshark! Everyone, Lockjaw! Landshark! Landshark! Landshark vehicle, new from the Masters of the Universe collection, not for use with some figures. Action figures each sold separately. From Mattel. Savage is attacking! Once we take this business, I know we'll rule the world, General Warhawk! Rambo and General Warhawk with their battle action weapons, each sold separately. New ch ch, -ch cherry coke, just out and outrageous. Cherry Coca-Cola. Check it out and find out, taste is what it's all about. Outrageously smooth, outrageously light, cherry makes it wild, Coca-Cola makes it bright. Continues now with Batman, the serial man. And nothing can slow him down. Nothing can stop him from bringing it to you. It's here. A smashing taste. A honey nut flavor part of your complete breakfast. Batman, cereal. Father disappeared, and Mother Brain tried to take over Video Land. Our only hope lay in an ancient prophecy that a great warrior from another world would come to our rescue. I admit, I was a bit skeptical when Kevin showed up, but now I don't know how we'd ever get along without him. On the robotic world of Megaland, the evil Dr. Wily is deep inside Skull Castle, cooking up mega trouble for Captain N and his friends. My new power vacuum is a work of pure genius, if I do say so myself. What does it do? It harnesses the greatest source of power in all video land. Competition energy, generated from playing games. <laughs> Never heard of it. Of course not. I just discovered it. Allow me to demonstrate. All right, metal man. Whoa. Yeah. Don't blow your stem plant. All you have to do is defeat metal man. <laughs> <laughs> Pure condensed competition energy. As long as they compete, they give off invisible energy. And the power vacuum sucks it right up. Stop that magic! So you have a power full of competition energy. So what? If I can get this much energy from one robot and that idiotic vegetable of yours, Think what I can get from Captain Nitrate and his pals. I'm gonna turn his love of games into a trap that'll send him and his whole end gang into the earthquake zone. I 
like it! What a gloomicus. I think he's homesick for that California place. This old mega cheer, Captain Anna. Wow, dude, skaters roll. All right. Cool, did you make this Mega Man? Just like you told me, Mondo Nose. Mondo Nose does not compute. Please re-enter data. You'll have to get Kevin to teach you California's Game Boy. Check out this inverted kickflip. Wow, he's Mega Man. Thanks, Mega Man, I love it. May I try? Go for it, Princess. <laughs> you ninnies are gonna game yourselves <gasps> right into the earthquake warp zone. I really like Gaggy with a spoon. Time to begin. How am I doing? Wow! Huh? Hey, fellas, it's time for. Castlevania Bandstand! Hey, uh, video land called, called, called this new group, the Ungrateful Undead! Time, that's my favorite song! Oh, that getting on this totally tribute offer! Seven tickets for a rad day on California Games World! It's like so much fun! Just this week, me the name of California's most gnarly valley! Hey, I know that! The San Fernando Valley! Way to go! Seven tickets! That's even one for Duke! <laughs> of course! I wouldn't want you to leave that mangy mutt behind! All right, line up! Time to get moving! <laughs> Captain Nitwit's gonna be one sorry California dude! <laughs> Unaware of Dr. Wily's evil plan, the M-Team arrives on the sunny world of California games. Hey, this is cool! Just like being back home! <laughs> okay, dudes and dudette, surf's up! Geronimo! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Kevin's happy again. That means he'll stay with us a little longer. I certainly hope not. Oh, Simon, we're on vacation. Let's just have fun. enough game energy for me to knock you right into the earthquake zone. Because thanks to my new map of video length, I can open and shut warp zones at will. <gasps> Just as soon as all these energy jars are full, time to up the competition a little. Go to it, my lovelies. doing here? They're from Megaland. I don't know, but they're not going to make a clown out of me. Wunderbar! My lovelies are doubling the energy. I'll be full to capacity in no time flat. <coughs> Our vacation is turning into a real bummer. They spoiled everything. 
everything. The games just aren't fun anymore. No, 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 don't stop. I need more energy. <laughs> I guess I'll have to switch to my backup plan. He'll use up some energy, but at least I can put my warp zone shifter through a little test run. <laughs> this will keep him on California world for as long as I want. I don't believe it. What's that? Wow. Huh? That's Northridge High. That's my school. I do that video game whiz who helped me study for my algebra test. Hi, Stacy. You remembered. It was just that one time, and when I asked you for a date, you were busy, but... Your name's Kerwin, right? <laughs> no, Kevin. Kevin Keen. And I'm Simon Belmont, vampire hunter at your service. <gasps> you hunt vampires? Yo, now I remember. You're on the junior varsity swim team, right? And you're Rick Walker, captain of the varsity football team. Hey, welcome to Video Land. Yeah, right, Video Land, and I'm the king of California. <laughs> huh? Welcome, Your Majesty. I am Princess Lana. And if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. It's no dream. I don't know how you got here, but you're here. But this doesn't make sense. A minute ago, we came out of the gym for Saturday football practice. Now we're at the beach. Feeling mega troubles coming, Captain Ann. Uh, who's Captain Ann? Is Joker in the fairy wings? <laughs> of course not. Kevin is Captain Ann. That's that's kind of the nickname they gave me around here. Hands <gasps> <gasps> up, <the> everybody! <laughs> this better not be some kind of joke. If it is, the joke's definitely on us. <laughs> Love nuts were just a nuisance before, but now they're getting downright nasty. Man, you're sure not the Kevin Keen I remember. Uh, I, I think we'll be safer inside. Whoa! I think maybe you're right. Let's move it, guys. Supply getting Captain Nitwit's friends here. <laughs> Do I have to be renewed in every second to get things done right? Yes, Mother Brain. Uh, I mean, no, Mother Brain. Shut up! I better get to California World before Riley ruins everything. <laughs> I always wanted to go to high school. <laughs> us to believe we're inside a video game? That's pretty hard to swallow, Keen. Hey, I didn't believe it either when I first got here. Well, I think it sounds just too, too romantic. Tell me more, Kevy. Captain Ann! Come out, come out, wherever you are! I've got a short time out. Time out for what, Wiley? Why, from our contest, of course, the winner-take-all version of the California Games. My team against yours. <gasps> if we win, we get the Palace of Power and the Throne of Videoland. I know you've got some dirty trick up your sleeve, Wiley. We won't play, no way. Oh, yes, Ray. <laughs> I'll give you five minutes to think it over. Well, we wait. Perhaps you'd like a little entertainment.
stick close, ladies. I'll take care of you. Their adorablenesses don't need you to take care of them when Simon Belmont's around. Oh, my. You're both so galant. Which one should we choose, Lana? <laughs> Be my guest. Take both of them. Let go! I had it first. You let go! We gotta bust out of here and make a run for it. You've been playing without a helmet again, Romeo. Where are we gonna run to? Uh, let's crunch him! How? Those robo-props have got us outmanned and outpowered. Captain Ant will know what to do. Uh, no computer whip on a tiddlywink squad is gonna tell me what to do. It's the swim team, dude. Well, la-dee-da. How'd you earn this? Doing a belly flop? <laughs> hey, chill, will ya? Hey, we asked for the best from your world, and the ultimate warp zone chose Kevin as our game master. <laughs> okay, Keen. A good quarterback knows when to fall back. Let's see what all that video game playing taught you. It's your call. Well, I, I say we fight. Only let's play a game we have a chance of winning. Football! <laughs> Just a few moments more, and they'll all be mine. Blast the Nooses team into the earthquake zone! As soon as those engines start playing again! I don't want any slip-ups! Trust me, when the jaws are full, the warp zone shift-up will shut down every warp on California world but one. This one, <laughs> right here in this hot dog stand. So while they're running around here looking for a warp door out of here, we'll be long gone. Just remember, we only got 60 seconds from the time I blow this whistle. Your answer, Captain Numbskull. <gasps> What'll it be? Play or pay? Come on, we better get out of there before the Brain Lord blows a gasket. Helmets on. Mm. Kevin, I just want you to know whatever happens, I think you're terrific. Ah, uh, thanks, Stace. <laughs> Come on, Lana. We can do a cheer while the boys play ball. <laughs> no, thank you, Stacy. I'm gonna see what Dr. Wiley's really up to. I, I better tell Game Boy to keep an eye on her. She could get in trouble. I hope that means you're gonna keep your eye on the game. Promise you'll be careful, Lana. I will. You too, okay? Okay, Wiley, we play. But only if it's our game. Football! Whatever you say, Captain N. Oh, I forgot to tell you. <gasps> I'll be sending in my first string this time. Gee, I hope I know enough cheers. I know you explained football to them, Kevin, but are you sure they understand? Well, look on the bright side, Simon. At least we won the toss. Give me an N! Give me a T! All right!
there, guys. Hey, don't take it so hard, kid. We're holding our own. Well, that's not good enough. I've got a better idea. Mega Man, do you think you can make it back to Megaland and bring back some firepower from Dr. Wright? I can sure make a try. Well, boy, looks like you're our eighth man. <laughs> With your game moves and our grid eye, we can't lose. Well, then let's do it. I hope you like chasing things as much as Duke does. What in Video Land is Wally up to now? Oh, whatever it is, he's not gonna get away with it if I can stop him. And I will! I can use a lift about now. Whoa! This is what I call on the job training! said once before. It comes from the landfill warp zone. <laughs> Maximus Stinkus, that's where all the garbage in Video Land ends up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Are we going to the landfill zone, too? Don't worry. Dr. Wally's warp shifter just shifted into reverse. You're going home. Hey, money! Later, dudes. You're coming back with us, right? Come on, Kevy. What are you waiting for? Not this time. I don't blame you, Captain N. I'll never forget this. Look me up when you get back. They will, you know. Will what? Forget. It's automatic. Well, so will you when you go back. Well, well, we won't have to worry about that for, for a long time, will we, Duke? Kevin, are cheerleaders chosen from the nobility where you come from? Uh, not exactly. Well, you seem very impressed with this Stacy. Oh, well, I used to be, until I met you. Well, then life got twice as cool and, and ten times as exciting. Game everybody's running to get it's thin ice. Come on, thin ice. Come on, thin ice. Take the tweezer in your hand and pick a marble from the stand. Come on, thin ice. Come on, thin ice. Quick, put the marble right on top and pass the tweezer for the drop. Come on, thin ice. Come on, thin ice. It's the game of luck and skill. One wrong move, take a spill. Place your marble cool and nice, but watch out. Thin ice. Thin ice. Trust me, it's cool. Chester Cheetah here in one red-hot slingshot, itching to enter that Cheetos production center. My cool takes a party as I go bombarding those Cheetos snacks he's gotten. The cheese that goes! Crunch. <laughs> it's not...
not easy. Being cheesy. I... The following announcement has been paid for by Waifu World Order. When you're in the Waifu World Order, you're in for life. Supernatural things, magic and sorcery, they're back. From out of the gloom stalk your worst nightmares, ghouls, zombies, werewolves, vampires. You can't be sure what lurks out there in the darkness of night. We're the dark stalkers. Chiron, intergalactic collector of planets, wants the Earth. And he's going to get it even if he has to wake the undead. He summons Dimitri, Lord of the Vampires, to launch a reign of terror, to release a plague of monsters and bring humans to their knees. But other night warriors are on the prowl. Monstrous, awesome contenders with bizarre fighting powers. Immortal creatures locked in battle to decide the fate of the world. It's enough to make your blood run cold. There should have been some sign of the outpost here. Some evidence that I am not alone. You aren't alone, Darkstalker. Donovan, Mr. Warren. You know why I'm here. From some misguided belief that all Darkstalkers are evil, I presume? Not misguided at all. I know your heart. It is filled with darkness, even though you are curiously attractive for a fishman. That's Mer-man. And you don't know me at all. Regardless of what you call yourself, you will perish without water. <laughs> However, dehydration takes so long, and I prefer to be certain of your demise. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. I do wish you would differentiate between gentlemen like myself and a pretentious upstart like Lord Dimitri. We are not at all alike. Neither of you are human. That is all that matters. Surrender now, and I will make your end as quick and painless as possible. Uh, I will never surrender! So be it. Help me, my small friends! Attack my enemy! Overwhelm him! What? This is not funny. This is not the end, Fishman.
Now I need the healing pool. <sighs> this has been a long day. <sighs> and it's not over yet! Why have you invaded my home, foul temptress? Foul temptress? <laughs> How harsh. I always thought of myself as such a nice girl. Ha! Lord Dimitri orders you to join us, Fishman. Never! You were saying? How dare you turn my ocean against me! Oh, but it's so much fun. Watch! Byron! Our mission has been accomplished. We have the merman, Riku, under our control. Good! Stay where you are. I shall come down there myself. As you wish. This is a bad idea. Oh, nonsense. It's my planet, after all. It would be unwise to leave the safety of this ship. I am Pyron the Powerful, master of the old races. No one can stand against me. Most of your power comes from this ship. I cannot protect you down there. For centuries, those creatures have been telling each other tales of the beauty of Atlantis. Now it's mine, and I am going to see it. I will bring the merman here. You will not! Now send me down, or I will turn off your pleasure circuits. Very well. Atlantis, your rapacity. I shall overlook your feeble jibes, Morrigan, in view of your success. I see Atlantis's reputation for beauty is well founded. It is a setting worthy of me. You? You tasteless space creep. You wouldn't know taste if you stepped in it. Riku, last of the mermen, you are needed. The Darkstalkers need your strength, your wisdom, and my real estate? Think of a world ruled by the Darkstalkers, the crown jewel of my collection. I think I may vomit. Darkness shall rule the Earth, and the humans shall serve you as slaves, granting your every whim. My whims are none of your business. Take care, Merman! Or you shall serve as my slave. Sir, with a side dish as dessert or the main course. I am Witzel, guardian of the two continents. I am here to protect my people from aliens. People? What people? The Aztecs, the Mexica, the first people native to these lands. Oh. Well, you're about 500 years too late. Not the aliens of this world, Merman. I was created by Quetzalcoatl to protect this world until he returns from aliens. Ones like you. Uh-oh. He's all yours. I belong to no one. <sighs> you are alien to this world. You must be sacrificed to the sun to make the people safe and our warriors strong! Morrigan, stop him! Hi there, tall, dark, and dangerous. Think fast! Let's see what you've got! Oh, you're going to play it that way? So be it. You are no match for me! Be so sure of that. Hmm. He wasn't so tough. The battle is not over. It, it can't be. 
friends of my enemies are also my enemies. Fisherman, stop that! gonna hurt. I tire of this game. Now feel the wrath of Pyron and tremble. Foolish sub-creature. It's created to destroy aliens. Your power is my payment. Behold. for the sacrifice! No! Morrigan, help me! Uh. Help me! No. It is no Pyron's battle. Not ours. Looks like immigration finally caught up with them. What a shame. Gee, bet he'll make a terrific sacrifice. I could say the same about you, fish face. Where is Pyron? I have lost contact with Pyron. What has happened to him? Oh, there was a, a little accident. He was captured by the one who claims to guard this land. Where is Pyron now? Who knows? I'd say we've seen the last of Pyron. What? The merman is correct. But, 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 but you must rescue him. Why? Chiron is not restored to the ship within one rotation of the planet. I am programmed to self-destruct. I have no problem with that. You don't understand. If I self-destruct, the ship's transwarp fusion pile will overload. Full detonation will follow almost instantly. It's a big fusion pile. It'll be a big detonation. How big? Big enough to result in the destruction of your planet, its moon, and possibly the entire solar system. Have a nice day. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. I cannot contact Pyron through the force field, but I have him on visual. He's being taken up the Amazon River. Come on, Fisherman, we've got to save Pyron. We were ordered to capture the Merman and take him to the ship. Nothing else. Ugh, the, the situation's changed, you Japanese beetle. We have to keep that ridiculous computer from blowing itself and the whole planet into smithereens. Our orders said nothing about prolonging the suffering of those on this planet. You don't mean that, do you? I do not make jokes. More problems! A cloud of smoke over the Amazon is now obscuring my visuals. In other words, you've lost them. Regrettably, yes. Oh, delightful! So, now burning off the Amazon jungle for grazing land will do more than deprive the planet of oxygen. It'll cause total destruction of the Earth! You know the Amazon basin, right? Yes. And you'd rather not see it destroyed? Of course not. Then you want to reunite with your wife and get rid of that curse, don't you? Well... You'll speak the truth. Perhaps for the first time. I must agree. Well, then we need Riku's help. We have to give up this silly mission. Riku, if you help us find Pyron and get him away from that stupid robot, we'll let you go when this is over. And leave Atlantis in peace? Yes, of course. You have my word. Rico, time is running out. Your word. Oh, for the days when one's word meant everything. Uh, yes, I'll help. But I can't help with these ropes on. We'd better take the skyfish. There's no way of knowing how far Weetzel is taking Pyron. So how do you know which news groups to pay attention to? Keyword searches. It's easy. Harry Grimori, I need your help. Huh? Who said that? I am a computer. The computer. You remember? Pyron's better half? What do you want with us? I hesitate to say this, but your... help. It's a trap. If it is, it's a pretty stupid one. You care to explain? It all started in Act One. Beam 
self-destruct. Why can't you do it? You might have noticed. No hands. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, where do I start? Follow me. Cool! Harry, where are you going? Hacker Harry to the rescue! Oh, how will we ever find them? They could be anywhere down there. This challenge would make even Hachiman hesitate. The computer said they were following the river. Water. And where there's water, I have friends. to these things. Oh, they do when they hear unearthly screams. Pyron was loud in his demands to be released. from here at a very high speed. Swell. I'll do what I can. And there are a few modifications I want to try out as well. Harry, you be careful. are not permitted in this hemisphere. You'll never get away with this. My Darkstalkers will stop you. I told you before, you're too late for that. You cannot stop me! There's no smoke up here. Can't the ship just beam Pyron up? Not while that tin troublemaker has a force field up. It's a standoff. Not for long. Oh! 
I am a warrior among warriors. You cannot do this to me. The braver the warrior, the better the sacrifice. Quetzalcoatl will be pleased. Actually, I'm not really a warrior. Why don't you sacrifice one of them? They are not aliens. We better do something, and fast! Let me! Listen, can't we discuss this? Bishima, strike now! Am I dead? Tell me I'm not dead. Well, that's that. Oh, Iron, you must return to the ship immediately. Oh, I will not leave the ship again, ever. This planet is a lot of work. Ship, take me home. And now for you, Fishman. Thank you for your assistance. I feel like a new machine. But Pyron is on his way back. You must leave immediately. Leave? Oh, but I was just getting into your higher memory circuits. I'm afraid that area is restricted. After all, a girl has to have a few secrets. Did I say that? Oh, do we really have to leave? Harry, let's go. Unless you want to be here when Pyron returns and lets Dimitri out of the closet. What have you done with me? Nothing, just a temporary glitch. I deactivated the self-destruct. From now on, you'll have to go back to ruining the Earth a piece at a time. Can we go now? Yes, go, please. My voice, I don't understand. <laughs> ah, home sweet home. It's good to be back where things are normal. Iron, darling, you poor dear. Are you all right? What? There's still the little matter of taking you back. But you gave me your word. <laughs> and you believed me? Just what I like in a man. Curiously attractive and dumb. I believed you. You will abide by your word, sorceress. <laughs> Forget who you're dealing with, Samurai. No, it is you who have forgotten, Morrigan. Let him go. This time, I'll let him go. There will be other opportunities. Ship! What's that? What are you up to? I brought back some souvenirs. I want to see if plugging these into my motherboard will radically raise my RAM. In English, Harry? I want a computer like no one else has. <laughs> I'd say you got that one, hot shot. Darkstalkers will return. And now, back to Darkstalkers. Gonna be in trouble, your baby and the man. Wanna rumble, how about tonight? They wanna war, just let me fight. Drink lab. <laughs> Makes lots of gross things that taste great. Magic liquid and care for a putrid potion. No. Mm, tasty. Here, 
have a squirmy worm. <laughs> mm. Now Dr. Dreadful's grossest goodies. Monster Wart! Excellent! But Dr. Dreadful Drink Lab makes carbs of gross things again and again. Batteries not included. It's totally... <laughs> All we need is an eco dweeb to trap my toxic sludge dump. I'll get one with this scummo cup. Oh, no! I need Captain Planet! I'll save you, Gee. You miss me, scum. Oh, yuck. I guess we made a mess out of their plans. The power is yours. Bring Duke Nukem or Vermin a scum with the purchase of any Captain Planet toy from Tiger. Details at participating stores. Welcome to the factory where they make Go-Go Puffs. I bet you all go Go-Go for this chocolatey tasting stuff. You're on, Sonny. We'll start here, where each pop is packed with its great chocolatey taste. A taste that makes Cocoa Puffs a delicious part of this complete breakfast. A taste so chocolatey, kids can't help going Cocoa. Yeah, yeah. Now, on the back of Mark Boxes of Cocoa Puffs, one free fold-out factory. Load it up and let the good times roll. Eat dirt, Psycho! Fish! It's Earthworm Jim blasting his arch enemy, Psycho! Uh oh when Peter Puppy gets mad, he turns into... But first, a word about Earthworm Jim 2 video game! It's out there! Bouncing puppies, falling grandmas, hungry and heads, and some really weird stuff, too! It's like the worm says... Go, Ruby! Earthworm Jim 2 video game! Back to Peter Puppy! I'm out of here! His rage has transformed him into monstrous Peter Puppy, uncontrollably smashing the nearest thing, which happens to be Psycho! Earthworm Jim figures in video game. Justin, among the injured in last night's freak cable car accident is famous jazz saxophone player Johnny Domino. There are unconfirmed reports that two large cocoons were found at the site. Doctors are not able to remove what appears to be human bodies from inside the rock-hard cocoons. In other news, Ellie Tremaine, industrialist Roger Tremaine's stepdaughter, is missing. He was about to take over as CEO for Revelation Incorporated, a position left by his deceased wife. Her daughter, Ellie Tremaine, was in line for that position. In other news... Is everything all right? Yeah. You don't fool me. You're still having flashbacks from the accident. 
Your pulse is racing. From being around you? Uh-huh. Look, a lot's happened to you. You can't stand the sunlight, you have incredible night vision. Hey, I was a night owl before anyway. My life won't be that different. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Your eyes, I forgot. Johnny, you remember Roger Tremaine of the Hospital Governing Board? He's also the one who's funding our new pediatrics wing. Of course, the benefit concert. Yes, I heard you were leaving today and I wanted to ask you if you'd made a decision. The old Johnny wouldn't have done a benefit concert. But now? Sure, why not? That's terrific. You don't know what this means to me. I heard about you dedicating the wing to your daughter. When someone you love just vanishes, you keep wondering, hoping, we'll find her. I know it. I hope they never find the little rat. Oh. Oh. What? What is it? Nothing. I must be hearing things. Thanks again. What? You're awake! You should get back in bed, dear. You've just come out of a coma. This isn't my face! What have you done to me?! What? What have I become? I told you to park in the VIP zone. I own this facility. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. Thanks for the ride. Just hospital policy? I'm playing at the Cliff House tonight. What's this? Starting my brand new life. Oh, I'd love to come, but you know my schedule. Well, that's the thing about musicians. We work late. <laughs> I'll definitely try, okay? I'm on a ten. So pretty, and so smart. Just like Daddy wanted me to be. She'll never make it tonight. I'll be there instead. Well, what's that? Hey! Come back here! That was close. This body is too old. It's weakening. Hey, lady. Y you okay? Such a nice, strong young man. <laughs> what? What is this? Johnny, I called the police. They'll take care of it. Dawn, listen, before I found that cocoon, I heard this weird sound and this creepy voice. So much pain and anger. Paging Dr. Dawn Parker. Police report to surgery. Stab. I'm needed in emergency. Sorry, Johnny. Go home and get some rest, please. Tonight, you have a date with destiny, Dr. Parker. That voice. <gasps> what are you? Ah, Johnny! Dawn? Please, let me through. Dawn? Dawn. Are you okay? I, I heard a scream. You can see me? It's so dark. Yeah, sure, since the accident. Wait, you know all about my night vision. I do? 
Oh, of course. I do. Dawn? What is that? You're not Dawn. You're that thing. Too bad. You would have liked the new Dr. Parker. I thought you were more adventurous, Jazzman. Come on, try me. No way, lady. <laughs> Good reflexes, Jazzman. Yeah, I keep in shape. Just who or what are you anyway? <laughs> Whoever or whatever I want to be. Even you, John. No! 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 This place. Out for a midnight swim, Mr. Domino. What do you want with me? We are looking for ultras. Ultras who can change the balance of good and evil in the world. The Ultra Force wants me? You were part of the cable car accident. Many new ultras have appeared here since then. So I've heard. But I don't think I'm an ultra. I'm a sax player, that's it. Who can see in the dark and hear evil thoughts? Who no longer needs sleep? Oh. Hello, we got a problem here. Some bozo who calls himself Headknockers making a major withdrawal of Fort Knox. Where are you guys? Light a fire under it, Contrary. We're supposed to be in Fort Knox. I don't get you guys. There's a body snatching thing loose in the city. People are being turned into cocoons. Mr. Domino, you have extraordinary abilities of your own. Maybe you should consider a career change. Now we really must go. <laughs> oh, great. Where are you going? Ultra Force is supposed to help people like him. Hard case, wait. What about Headknocker? You weren't in any hurry before. Your turn to wait. Roger Tremaine will dedicate a new hospital wing to his beloved missing daughter, Ellie. Poor little Ellie. Daddy loved her so much, but all he could do was criticize her. Nothing, nothing was ever good enough for Daddy. Contrary. Hmm. She's smart and beautiful and powerful. Ellie wasn't good enough for Daddy. I wonder what he'd think of Contrary. <laughs> Nice of you to check in. Mission accomplished, I hope. Not yet. Haven't seen anything unusual. Anything on the local news? Hard case, we really must go... Hold on. Something's coming in. Whoa! What was that? Golden Gate Bridge. I'll check it out. Meet you there. How did you know? I'm recruiting Ultras for a very special group, but you're in great anguish. I can help you heal the pain. <laughs> you want to feel my pain? Fine! Be my guest! Oh. 
Impressive. What? My lipstick on crooked? You're not contrary. Where is she? What do you mean? Hard case. It's me. <laughs> Chrysalis has bigger fish to fry. A lot bigger. Even Hardcase, leader of the Ultra Force, has been frustrated in his attempts to capture Chrysalis, who has left behind a wake of cocoon bodies in a strange coma-like stasis. The majority of them are top officials at the Tremaine Management Group, spreading panic through the multi-billion dollar corporation and causing its stock to plummet. Why Chrysalis has chosen to target Tremaine, no one knows. So Hardcase and Contrary did try, and failed. <laughs> Contrary was right. I do need a new career. And Chrysalis needs to meet the Nightmare. trying to ruin me. I really wish you'd postpone this hospital benefit. Absolutely not. I'm dedicating that wing to my beloved Ellie. And nobody, especially that that monster, is stopping me. Yet, Mr. Tremaine. Care to join me? Of course. I'd love to dance. And especially with you. to beautiful women asking me to dance. Why, thank you, Daddy. Daddy? You always wanted me to be so perfect. Ellie? No. I won't believe it. You... you can't be that... that monster. Monster? But Daddy, isn't this the person you always wanted me to be? Beautiful, poised, confident. <laughs> A person in complete command of any situation? Ellie, no! What are you going to do? First, I want to see my statue. <sighs> this is how you see me? Plain little Ellie Tremaine looked this good. Would you have really loved me for me? Ellie, I, I do love you. Love me? All you ever did was criticize me. I was a project that always needed improving and refining. Never good enough! Ah! Excuse me, please. Now it's your turn, Daddy. No! This is a nice change. Enjoy it, because it won't last. You again. It is you, isn't it, Jazzman? 
My, you're so versatile. But no match for me. I've absorbed a dozen Ultras. I have twice the strength of Hard Case. Your tiring nightman can't protect Daddy forever. Come on, show me who you really are. You're not Hard Case or Ellie. You're not any of the people you've cocooned. Now show me what you are, you parasite! I hope you like the way I look. Because I am the last thing you will ever see. I'll still find you. Insects have so many instincts, humans have no idea. Hard case? You all right? Ugh. That was strange. I felt and heard everything that creature was doing. What happened? It hit the radio tower. Must have lost control over you. She's still breathing. Let's... <laughs> Come on, let's go! Wait, look! They're alive! Ellie, my dear. You don't know how glad I am to see you. Spare me, Daddy. I heard everything. Everything you said and thought. For all of the evil my chrysalis brought into the city, it did do some good. I found out the truth. You treated my mother like trash, and now it's over. You are out. I'm running my mother's corporation, just like she wanted. You can't do that. Just watch me. Her father's cruelty and greed got him just what he deserves. Nothing. Where's Johnny? He's right here. He saved our but Where'd he go? to pollute the whole world. He's going to smogify every tree in Tromaville. But look who's gonna stop him. It's Toxie, the trendy yet piteously deformed leader of the Toxic Crusaders, who with their help really gums up the works. I'm toxic, but I'm tasteful. How does he do it? What does she see in him? Where did he get that tutu? Toxic Crusaders, they're gross. But they still get girls. Piteously deformed action figures from Playmate. I thought you boys were going to work on the garage. Uh, uh, Dad, we're resting. Yeah. And eating those apple jacks, I see. Hey, what's wrong with you kids? They don't taste like apple. That isn't why we like them. Then why? <laughs> I know, I know. You just do. Yeah. yeah. Kellogg's apple jack cereal is part of this complete breakfast. We eat what we like. Watch while I tell you of an ancient war. On the side of evil, Hellespont, ruler of the Daemonites. Against them, the Wildcats. The Carobin Spark and their cybernetic leader. Massive crossbreed maul. Metamorphing Warblade. Master Marksman Grifter. Fierce Warrior Zealot. Will they succeed and defeat Hellespont? We're out of here. And only Wildcats. Wildcats from Playmates.
got a great new Pepsi can or what? Introducing a whole new way to look at Pepsi and Diet Pepsi. It's beautiful. Wildcats Mission Log, entry 47.02. A recently developed anti-gravity device seems to be attracting Damonites like ants to a picnic. But those bug faces are about to face some pest control, Wildcat style. Look alive, cats. This place is infested with Damonites. Not for long. Take us down, driver, and keep the meter running. Your insolence is absolutely intolerable, Grifter. Uh -huh. Whoa! Claws out, cats. Time to curb those Damonite dogs. Excellent. The Wildcats have taken the bait. And once they are hit by the stasis cannon, each will be trapped in a state of suspended animation. Like flies in a spider web, waiting for... The Wildcats and their powers will be mine to control. And then nothing will stop me from obtaining that ore. They've taken over the base defenses. Okay, they're fast. But the G-Man is faster. Let's get a larger perspective here. Got me flaming! Look! The Daemonites are after the anti-grab device. Let's squash those bugs! Enemy advancing! Attack mode engaged! Whoa! Getting hot in here! So let's show them how wild cats cook! Colors new. Inhuman cowards. We cannot allow them to threaten innocent lives. No. Take her out now. <laughs> Sell it. Look out. <gasps> no. He's not breathing. No heartbeat. I think he's... No! No, no! After thousands of years, my only love... By Hecate Grifter, I swear thy spirit shall be carried to the hereafter on a wave of Daemonite blood! Let's finish this. 
this. Pull back. Pull back at once. We have achieved enough for now. Demonite scum! You may have possessed Lonely's body, but you shall not escape my vengeance! No way, G-Man. You're not bailing the scene this early. Grifter. Voodoo is zealot. She's fine, but majorly ticked. She split on a bug hunt to avenge you. <laughs> Lady's got qualities I admire. He's like in some sort of suspended animation, but he's alive. We'd better tell Zealot. Blasted, Olin. You may be an old friend, but your security was as pathetic as that wig you wear. How did the Daemonites get control of your defenses so quickly? The Daemonites had a security specialist who bypassed the system, Jacob. Lonely. Of course, Olin. We can't let the Daemonites get their claws on that anti-gravity device. I agree. I suggest we move the device to a safer location. Good idea. Arrange for the transport. I'll supply the security. Marlow out. <laughs> Report. The plan is proceeding well, Lord Hellspond. We may not have captured a wildcat, but we have effectively eliminated one from action. Excellent. And now Marlow will assist us by transporting the anti-gravity device directly into our hands. How's the patient doing? His vital signs are stable, but he remains in a partial state of suspended animation. And that fall didn't help either. Kid's got several busted ribs and a broken arm. So how long is he gonna be out? That is uncertain. It may be forever. Blasted bug-faced scum! Easy chunk style. We're all steamed. Especially Zealot. Tell me about it. She's still moving too fast for our tracking scans. And we can't wait. That anti-grav device has got to be moved pronto before Hellspont tries again. I need you cats to make sure it gets to its new home in White Sands. But what about Grifter? I can watch him. Yes, sir. Hang in there, guy. We'll be back. Let's roar, Wildcats! Lord Hellspot, you must help me. The Caribbean Witch is relentless! Calm yourself, fool. The Caribbean's anger shall be her downfall. Drones, launch a hover ship. Prepare a trap for that accursed wild cat. 
and Pike. Gather your forces and head for White Sands. At once, Lord Hellspont. After the Wildcats unwittingly deliver the anti-gravity device right into our hands, I want them destroyed! <laughs> Sending people I care about into danger is bad enough. But when they come back like you, you and me, we're just human, Grifter. Ain't neither one of us saints. But I'll tell you this, if I had a son, I couldn't be fonder of him than I am of you. <laughs> Only you never heard that, okay? Wouldn't want the cats to think I was getting soft. Ah, criminy Grifter. It's all my fault. I should have known the Daemonites would use Lonely to bypass security. Oh. No. It's not Lonely. What? Of course. The Daemonites possessed Lonely's body, but not his mind. Lonely couldn't have helped them take over the base weapon systems. Must have been somebody else. But who? What? Hello, Jacob. Have you time to see an old friend? <laughs> you shall not escape my vengeance, Daemonite. <laughs> <laughs> My sword is thirsty. Let us slake it now. <laughs> Not yet. By Hecus! <laughs> so, the hunter is now the hunted. there yet? Relax. Still got an hour to go. Relax, he says. He's not wedged in like a whale in a sardine can. All right, uh, six hit points. Thrice three and again thrice three gives the sum of four. Blast! Having trouble cracking the code of threes? It's the key to the orb. I can't solve it. It's gotta be something simple, something absurdly obvious. Oh, yeah! Hey, pipe down back there! Quit having fun while I'm frustrated! Ooh, genius at work! <laughs> <laughs> Those cursed wildcats will pay for their insult, especially the one called Warblade. Lord Hellspont ordered us to wait until they reached White Sands. We will get the device. But first, I shall have my vengeance. Look now, but we have company. Thank you for seeing me on such short notice, Jacob. Hey, what are old friends for? Besides, I wanted to ask you something. Why did you disable the base's security system for Hellspawn? <laughs> Jacob, what's the meaning of this? Here's your answer, Daemonite scum! You are clever, Jacob Marlowe, and dangerous. Too dangerous to live. Oh! Have 
have a seat. Alert, alert. This action is dangerous. Oh. <laughs> You're telling me! Not a halo vehicle. We'll have to fight them off. Just give me some elbow room. Hey. Back off, you road hogs. Nice move, Warblade. Perfect. I have him right where I want him. Spartan! On the right! Not for long. No! Blast you, Wildcats! You haven't escaped yet! <laughs> Face it, Carabim. It is over. Wrong, Daemonite, for you still live. <laughs> Brave words, witch, but they shall do you little good. Take her. Uh. <laughs> Missed your target, witch. Huh? No, I did not. Get her! robbed me of the one I love. You will not rob me of my vengeance. Ah! Behemoth, pick me up at Pier 76 and hurry! Blast! You shall help me avenge him. This is Agent Lonely. I'm on the pier. Leave now. This vengeance is mine alone. Grifter was my friend. Then if you truly wish to help, go see Marlo. Your skills are not the grifters, but they may be of use. Here they come. What are you planning to do? Silence! Ah! And that's just a taste of what you get if you don't do exactly as we say. Understand? Special delivery from Aeronautics. Y yes sir, you can unload at Bay 27. That guy seemed kind of nervous. Wouldn't you be? Now settle down, old friend. 
You and me are gonna have a nice little talk. I have nothing to say. Wanna bet? But I've gotta see Marlo now! Access denied! The system hasn't been built that can keep me out. Lonely! Blast! Another Daemonite! <laughs> now to finish the job! <clears throat> Human scum! But no matter! You have chosen your fate! No! To report. Your plan worked perfectly, Lord Hellspot. The fools never suspected a thing. Now that the anti-grav device is in safe hands, we can head home. Good. Ma and I have a game to finish. Give me that. Hey! That's it. That is it! The device has been loaded onto the hovercraft. Excellent. Bring it here at once and order the Troika to dispose of the wild cats. No! Oh, uh. Spartan, it is a trap! Ah, meddling cherubim! Claws ah. uh. out, cats. We've been set up. Thanks for handing us the anti-grav device, wild cats. But now we're gonna finish you off. Once and for all. This is a moment to savor. The wild cat forces are decimated, and soon the anti-grav device will permit the behemoth to fly again. Once this ship's vast power is directed against the Temple of Themestria, the force field will crumble. And the orb will be mine at last. Survived. Will you? The Lost World Jurassic Park. Look for the mark of Jurassic Park figures and vehicles each sold separately. Set sail for adventure. The Pirates of Dark Water. Now, board the race with Ren and his stallion crew as they search for the treasures of rule. But beware. The treasure's no good to a dead man. Bloth and his wicked pirates are on the attack, so the race is armed for battle with a boulder hurling catapult. It's a deck, Kong. A 
Power Blast Harpoon, and a Mainsail Glider. You're sunk, boss! The Pirates of Dark Water. He stole separately. Oh, man. Every day the ghoulies get bigger and uglier and slimier. Now well, look at the bright side, Ed. What? So do you. <laughs> I am so not up for you right now, roller boy. Oh, yeah? Well, are you up for that thing? What thing? Ah! <gasps> Wake up. I heard a noise. Ow! Wake up. Huh? What kind of noise? If they're burglars, why didn't the dog bark? <gasps> you don't think they hurt the puppy? Shh! Looks like a tornado went through here. Something strange in your neighborhood. Who you gonna call? If there's something weird and it don't look good, who you gonna call? That's right. <laughs> Spangler is whacked. Simple as that. Egon is brilliant. He's got a scientific mind that they can't be limited by the boundaries of conventional thought. Kylie, the man just sent us out to buy 30 pounds of fungus. Okay, maybe he's a little eccentric, but he's still brilliant. Yeah, whatever you say. Hey, hey, roll. Check it out. Wow, she's beautiful. <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with you? What? That pooch was your in, man. What better setup do you need? Please. I'm not really a dog person. Oh, man. Miss America walks by and you choked. It's not like he's bad looking, Kai, but the guy's like a Spangler clone. I heard that. Egon, we have your mushrooms, and we're headed back to the firehouse right now. The fungus experiment will have to wait. We've got dog problems. Ghostbusters, please hold. Ghostbusters, please hold. Ghostbusters, please hold. Ghostbusters, please hold. Ghostbusters. Uh huh. Glowing eyes. Green vaporous breath. Ghostbusters, please hold. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. To my recollection, you've done that on several occasions. Oh. Well, it still feels good. I printed out a list of 30 addresses you guys should hit first. 30? Yep. Apparently all dogs won't go to heaven. <laughs> and I'm taking a break. Well, I'm busting some ghosts. I called Eduardo at home. I think you should wait. <sighs> Don't do me any favors. Since when
when did Slimer become so interested in going out on calls? Where there's dogs, there's dog food. Yeah, yeah, I'm ghost after my own heart. Hey! Wake up, darling. Oh, when did we become dog catchers? Hey, what what if it's a possessed chihuahua, huh? Oh no, here comes a half a pound of nervous fur. Ah! <laughs> 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 Will this take long? I had to lock my mastiff in the basement. Don't you worry, ma'am. We'll have mastiff back to normal in no time. We're professionals. Okay. I'm sorry. Can I get you anything? I know it's late. Coffee. Black six sugars. Fluctuations here. Me too. Steady signal, but constantly shifting frequencies. Weird. Ugh. I wonder what kind of dog Mastiff is. Mastiff's not a name, Einstein. It's a breed. And they're huge. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, make sure your proton beams are on low. We don't want to hurt the dog. Oh no, we wouldn't want to do that. Hey, that goo is a friend of mine, pal. But nothing's happening! We can't get the entity out of the body and into the trap without hurting the dog! And the corporeal dog won't transfer into the ghost trap! Oh well, we tried, let's go home. No! I have a better idea. What are you doing? Sorry about this. We'll take good care of him. He's not really himself. Oh, thank you. Yeah, hey, 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 job at hand, mister. And he'll take good care of that dryer, too. You see, you always leave the ladies wanting more. What I want to know is why couldn't we blast the ghost out of that dog? I'm not sure. It could be that the dogs aren't locally possessed, that there's a remote source broadcasting the controlling frequency into the dogs. I'm going to run some more tests on our friend here, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to send you four back out. Lucky us. <gasps> Try to find the source of these broadcasts. Until then, you might as well clean up the streets. Round up as many dogs as you can. We got about 200 more calls after you left. How are we gonna keep up? <laughs> Thrill of the hunt, my man. The more foxes, the better. Think of it like dating. Well, if you dated... I'm gonna kill him. Go with me. Oh, my God. 
in tiny ap apartments. Uh, why are all their dogs so big? Chick. The man desperately needs my help. Did you say chick? Somehow I don't think he needs your help. Hey, you don't see any rust on my wheels. Hello? Would you two stop talking about me like I'm not here? A truck? Group tactics. This is bad. They're growing more intelligent, more organized. Any ideas? Nothing. I haven't found a way to cut the puppet strings or to locate the puppet master. They're gone. One minute the dogs are everywhere, in our face, and then suddenly, nothing. What do you mean, gone? I mean disappeared. Hey, we came, we saw, we kicked ghost dog but the Ghostbusters are in the house. Now can we go home? The calls have stopped coming in on this end, too. Egon, I think you should take a look at this. Attacks cross-referenced by location. Oh, my. There must be thousands of dogs out there, just waiting. For what? And why would they all concentrate here, in Times Square? Here, Egon. This thing's broadcasting PKE spikes like you can't believe. Good. Stay on it. I'll do what I can from here. Keep me posted. And good luck. Well, whatever it is, it doesn't seem to mind us much. It seems more interested in all this trash. I think it's time we change that. Reconsidering 
my status as a dog lover. Hmm, aggressive. There's got to be a way to pacify these creatures. At least until we find the puppet masters. That should do nicely. Any time now, guys! Hold your walkie-talkie up to the radio. I'm going to broadcast a signal through your PA. It should hold the dogs at bay. Hope this works, Egon. Ready! This mess. Be thankful you don't work for the city. Yeah, you're not so bad now, huh? Eh? Eh? Tough guy? Huh? Now what? It's a gate. Full interdimensional breach. Where's my dog? Dog? Uh, what dog? I smell him. He was here. Sister, we all smelled him. <laughs> that was part of the problem. Uh, but he's moved on now. I, I hope you find him. Nice to meet you. You, uh, you should post signs. That helps. This is bad, guys. Off the scales. What have you done to him? Then the broadcasts originate from her! And that means? She's Ecto. Music to my ears. On three! Three! Dude, that shit can move! She's impossible! Now what? You're 
a real lady killer. Right for him. Now her. She seems more his type. Ugh. Not a chance. Why not? 